Hey Marvel Legends fans and collectors, thanks for joining me for another figure review. We're going to look at uh, Marvel's Thing. I think I did call him The Thing. I don't know if he's called The Thing. Um, but yeah, Thing. Big ball of rocks. Um, yeah, like I said, we, we got these figures in at, um, at work. Uh, Kesselrunhair.com. Check it out, see what else we've got. Um, and yeah, I sort of I sort of passed on them. This one went reasonably quickly just because of the size and the bulk of the figure. He looks really, really good. And I was, you know, super impressing him in the packaging. And uh, yeah, today finally got him um, at the time of recording this. Um, yeah, I'm so glad to have this figure now. <laughs> he's, he's fantastic. Really, really nice. And excuse the, uh, excuse the pun there. Um, I do still have his packaging, so I will share that very quickly if I can squeeze it in a little light box here. Um, so yeah, Fantastic Four. You can just sort of see it on an angle there. But Mr. Fantastic have reviewed Invisible Woman, Human Torch. We do have Psycho Man and High Evolutionary still. Um, I believe High Evolutionary is going to be a villain in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Um, so we'll see. We'll see about that. Um, but yeah, looking forward to getting the, the regular Johnny Storm when he comes in, hopefully. Hopefully he comes in this week. I ordered a couple of weeks ago. It does take a little bit to come from um, come from like the Asian countries um, through eBay. Um, but that was the only way to get it. So yeah, this one came from Pop Culture over in Victoria. Yeah, really, really blown away by this. Um, I was almost tempted to sort of do a wash on this, do a bit of a darker wash, get in all the cracks and crevices. But um. The way it's coloured, there's some nice sort of different tones through here. It's, you know, solid orange, and then there's sort of some lighter, earthier tones throughout the top. Um, and you can sort of see that sort of coming through on the camera there, like on the feet. Some sort of lighter tones on the top. Sort of where the sun would hit. Maybe the rocks are a little bit faded, and that's, the, that's his version of getting a tan. <laughs> but yeah, he's got his little tidy blueies on. <laughs> But yeah, really, really solid figure. I love this. I, I felt that with the Hulk recently. I got the Hulk from uh, the 20th anniversary Toy Biz um, wave. And uh, yeah, I was really, really impressed. But this one's cool. It does come with two heads, which is awesome. And also very, very tight. I have to pull him by the camera. There we go. More of a snarl on his face. I think I like that. I think I like that better. That's just me. Yeah, side by side. They're both good. I like that though. Yeah, it does come with his uh, big open rock hands. I love that the, the joint is sort of built into the uh, sculpt as well. That was really nicely done. Sort of, you sort of lose it there a little bit, but that's not a big, big deal. But yeah, if you bear with me for a second, I'll switch it out for the fists. I'll take a look at him with his clobbering, clobbering time fists. All right, here we go. So yeah, fists look good, nicely sculpted again. So they got some of the rocks sort of molded in there as well, which is nice. Even in the palm of the hand there. Slightly different colour for the for the joints, but yeah, it's not a big deal. It's really not a big deal at all. It's the fact that they uh, did sort of do a little bit of sculpting in there, which is really nice. Same in the elbows. And I assume probably in the back of the legs too. Yep. You can sort of see just the joints there. Yeah, I love it when all the, the sort of rocks in his joints sort of line up. It's just, you know, this is a solid figure and really nicely sculpted. You know, you get sort of not only just the big rocks, but you get some sort of more sort of line work through there, with the edges of the rocks, some tiny little sort of stones in the middle there. Turn around to his front. Glad they didn't give him uh, rock nipples. Or maybe they did. Maybe that's that one and that one. Maybe they're his little rock nipples. Who knows? I'm going to leave that to your capable imaginations, guys. 
Um, but yeah, really, really impressed with this one. Um, you know, sort of playing with him. I'm going to do a side by side with Hulk. I think Hulk's a bit bigger, but um, you know, that's these guys fighting on the same team. Thing and Hulk. That'd be a awesome team up. Yeah, I was even considering like putting a coating of matte, like matte clear on it, just to sort of rough it up a little bit. But I don't think it needs it. I don't think it's super shiny. Um, I think it looks quite fine the way it is, to be honest. And even his, even his butt cheeks have got like a sort of rock shape. <laughs> the pants over his uh, rock butt. So there we have Marvel's Thing from the Fantastic Four Retro Wave. Again, I'll be back with Johnny Storm review when he shows up. I just want to show these hands off as well. You know, when you turn into rocks, you uh, lose a finger. But uh, yeah, that's cool. All right, thanks for, folk. thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed these so far. I will have the fourth as soon as it comes in. Um, I'll get that video, video up and rolling. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much. I do appreciate your time. Again, any feedback for what you think of seeing Marvel figures on my channel, really do appreciate it. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear, hear, hear your thoughts and feedback. And uh, I'm having fun doing it. So give me an opportunity to learn a little bit more about the Marvel, Marvel Legends stuff and you know, expand my knowledge. So it's good fun. All right, folks, we'll see you on the next video.